Welcome to the wonderful world of Pokemon. Today I'm going to show you my top 10 tips and tricks for new trainers in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Let's go! Has that one Pokemon been giving you a hard time? Like every time you throw a Pokeball it just bounces off like it's got a force field? Well you're in luck. All you've got to do is grab a berry from a tree, you know you can use your Pokemon, it'll grab it for you. And then just chuck it behind the Pokemon. And while it's munching, that's where we strike friends. We throw the Pokeball and we catch it. When you're exploring the Hisui region, you'll be able to find all sorts of useful items, from plants to make potions, or tumble stones used to make pokeballs, and so much more. To harvest tumble stones and berries, simply throw your Pokemon out and let it get the items for you. To craft your potions and pokeballs, first you've got to return to a base camp. There you can use the crafting table to make whatever you need. All you've got to do is press A. Ooh, a shiny! No! God! And yoink! No! God, please, no! Now, to evolve your Pokemon in this game, all you've got to do is go to your bag and select the Pokemon. If it says it's able to evolve, just press X and it'll evolve the Pokemon. Did you just get your entire team bodied by a wild Geodude who really doesn't like you? Well, don't worry, it's not the end of the world. You know the base camps? Just go to one of those, go to the tent, and sleep, and all of your Pokemon will be fully healed by the next day. So, you've leveled up your Pokemon and you're feeling pretty tough. Well, it's time to take on the first boss of the game, Cleavor. You'll receive a quest from Adaman of the Diamond Clan and Iridia of the Pearl Clan, and in this quest you'll be asked to go and visit Grand Tree Arena in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Now, to get there quickly and easily, I would recommend going for the Highlands Camp. However, watch out for the Barrel, he will try to destroy you. Once you get to the arena, you will talk to Cleavor's handler, and he will say that the food that Cleavor tends to eat seems to soothe him. So what you do is you go to the professor, and the professor will make you throwable versions of Cleavor's food. Then, the boss fight begins. This boss fight isn't hard as long as you know what you're doing. All you've got to do is dodge and roll out of the way of Cleavor's attacks, and when you see Swirling Wind, dodge backwards as that's an AoE attack and he'll attack 360 degrees around him. To ensure that you get as many hits in as possible, try and make Cleavor run into the walls or the tree during his sprint attack. And then like that, the boss fight will be over and you'll have beaten the first boss of the game. Congratulations, trainers. Have you ever wanted a shiny? Yeah? Well, you're in luck! After grinding what seems like forever, the professor will give you a side quest, and in the side quest, you'll be able to travel to the Horseshoe Plains, located in the Obsidian Fieldlands, and after triggering the cutscene, you'll be given a free shiny Ponyta to catch. Why is it always me? Are you tired of losing your important items when you die? Well, don't worry, friends, I've got a good solution. All you've got to do is head to the shrine in Jubilife Village and talk to the lady. She'll then ask you what your wish is, and hey presto, you've got an item saving charm. Now, before I show you this next one, I've got to do a little grinding, so I'll see you in a bit, guys. Two hours later. Boy oh boy did that take a while, but after grinding, I finally earned my second star. Once you've got your second star, you'll be sent to the Crimson Mirelands. There you'll have to retrieve a relic fragment from some bandits. After doing so and returning it, talk to the professor. Then you'll see an unknown, and there you go. Now head back to Jubilife Village and head to the right of the path behind your house. And on the wall hanging up next to your washing, you will find your first unknown. Go ahead and throw a Pokeball and catch it, and then head up to Kamado's office in the Galaxy Team HQ. After getting onto the roof by going through the door on your right as you enter his office, you'll find your second unknown on the Eye of the Magikarp, giving him some lovely eyelashes. And then after you've caught that unknown, head back down to the outside of the Galaxy HQ. Now you'll want to head back to Prelude Beach where it all began, and on the sign of the gate as you exit out towards Prelude Beach over the O looking symbol, you will find your final unknown. Alright trainers, so I'm going to give you some more help here with showing you how to beat the second noble Pokemon, this being Lilligant. So first things first, we are going to go to Kamado's office and talk with Adaman and K Kamado obviously. And then once we go there, he's going to give us the mission to try and find Arezu because she's gone missing and she didn't tell Adaman that Lilligant was frenzied, like Cleavor. After that, we're then going to head to the Crimson Mirelands. 
and we're going to use our Ursa Luna to try and find her. Alright, and there she is. My oh my, that took way too long. Ugh. But here we are, she's now been found. And it looks to me as though Adamant wants us to go meet him up at Lilligant's Shrine, so that's where we're gonna go next. Alright, and we are here. Oh, I got lost a little bit there. Alright. Time to do the boss fight. So, the main trick with Lilligant is memorizing the movement patterns and the animation cues to avoid being one-shot, really. And Lilligant has two primary moves, that being the jump into the air pirouette and slam, which causes a AoE sort of uh, shock effect, which damages you. And the other being a charge up and release a ring that you have to sort of dive roll over. You have to dive roll away from both of these, but the ring you have to dive roll into, you can't really avoid it because it spreads across the entire battlefield. So just remember what you learnt with Cleavor, just avoid the attacks and every chance you get, keep throwing your uh, bombs. Uh, I promise she does get tired out eventually after doing so many moves and then that's your cue to just spam them. And let's see if we can do it. Awesome! Looks like we just beat the boss. Alright, good luck trainers, I hope you beat it too, and I hope this was helpful to you. That'll be all for today trainers, I hope these tips and tricks have helped you on your journey across the Sui, and I will see you next time.